A very good morning to everyone joining with us uh, here at the Gaul International Cricket Stadium for the second ODI between Sri Lanka women and New Zealand women. Sri Lanka. We are all set for the toss of the second ODI between Sri Lanka and New Zealand. I have the two captains with me, Sophie Devine of uh, New Zealand, Chamari Atapattu of Sri Lanka and the ICC match referee, Vanessa De Silva. The home team captain, Chamari, will now spin the coin. Heads plays. Heads it is. New Zealand have won the toss, Sophie. What are you going to do? I'm going to have a bet again. The uh, New Zealand playing 11 today uh, burned in uh, Besudan Hood, Susie Bates, Amelia Kerr, Sophie Devine, Maddie Green, uh, Georgia Plima, and the Sri Lankan 11. They made uh, one change. Skipper Chamari Atabatu, Vishmi Gunaratna, Hashida Samarikramani, Lakshidi Silva, Anushka Sanjeevani. Put Sri Lanka under pressure. Here's the first delivery of the second game. Straight towards the field, they should have both in it. Oh, that's what you need. Uh, Try to clear the infield, went straight to mid wicket. That was a good effort. It was dipping in front of her. And that's the sort of uh, breakthrough you need early. And uh, to see the back of Susie Bates, that's a bonus. It's departs early in this game. Is the replay. Great work from uh, Hashida Samara Vikrama. Short as um, And that's the reverse sweep uh, from Amelia Kerr. No, actually, it's uh, burned in Besun Hood. Sandamali Dolawat against the West Indies. Oh. In that same direction once again. But I don't think Sugandhi, uh, uh, she's going to get any turn. That's a terrific shot. Well, that'll be very close to being a no-ball as well. Not the east. Can up ball there. Like I mentioned. Chance! Chance! Shouts of catch it and she obliged. Vizudan Hot goes. After a good start, she'll be disappointed with that performance. Strikes. Yeah, I think it, she was looking to go straighter, but the ball didn't turn. So it caught the Going for a big one. Wonderfully cut away from Melika. That's going to be her third. Beautifully played from uh, the White Ferns captain. The ladies. Short and put away. That's another. Okay. That's another boundary. Brilliantly played. X. And if uh, these two continue to bat even more, and this is brilliant. Uh, this time uh, from the skipper. Oh, got the gap. Beautifully played. Shot. What a good shot once again. So Just see how well they... Oh. Ah, just over. Between uh, Melika and uh, Sophie Devine. Another boundary. The White Ferns captain. Slight misfield. And uh, it's another boundary. Been very good. Short. And another boundary. Kavya Kavindi. They're still running their twos uh, quite uh, brilliantly. And this time, cut away by Sophie Devine. How good was that? This time she finds the gap. Ball's running away. That'll be century number. What can she do? She hasn't been doing much, to be honest. 
Let say that she's consistency with the rest of the bowlers they have a uh, struggle and he has a uh, so we divine that uh, the verse it's kind of gotten for sri lanka and that's hit straight down the ground sugandiga kumari bowling her ninth and this is a uh, so we divine just hammered it away for a maximum more than the capability to uh, score the uh, big one whenever it's needed this time goes down the ground and it will go for the once for the fielder at long on once big again. swing on that occasion as well and once again final delivery of the 43rd over and this is so we divine once again last seven overs we may be talking 2020 cricket there's a chance and she's Gone. taken that She's capitalized on that, and this is how she parries. But it's a magnificent partnership, magnificent century from Amelia. Oh, that's gone. Lead. Brilliant hitting. Ah, oh. second catch for Nilakshi De Silva. This is how it happened. He spliced it really. That was a well taken catch. Kept her balance. Yep. That's up in the air. Dilari oh, is safe. Terrific catch. Magnificent grab that was. She had to do the hard yards and get under it. She's one of the better feelers in this Sri Lankan lineup. Although she. Sure. We were for supporters must be watching the cricket. She's from Ratkama, not too far away from here. In the air for a long time. She had to come running in quickly. Brilliant. Not only the way she grabbed it, um, Harita, the way she bowled him, bowled her rather. Sugandika Kumari in her last over picks up uh, a consolation wicket. Massive heave by Halliday. Didn't make it. That's in the gap. Boundary after some time. That's in the gap. It's running down to fine leg boundary. Oh. Oh, finally. New Zealand women. Yeah, good bowling that. Saw her coming. That ball turned a bit, didn't it? Saw her coming. Six for her. Ah. Oh. Poor delivery. She was hanging on the back foot and took that from around middle stump. Pummeled it towards the leg side for a boundary. So there goes the record. 329 for seven. Last five wickets went down for 37 runs. Never mind that. See, those two have dominated the batting card, 108 of 106. Bernadine got a start. Sophie, she was the pick of the bowlers, 2 for 38. She was the weapon with the older ball as well at the end. The two most experienced spinners win. Good batting conditions. Here's Hanaro with the first delivery. And that be the first boundary for Vishmi, yes. Changing of length. That's a much better stroke from uh, Gunaratna. That's the second boundary. Beautifully cut away from Harshit. Gone. She strikes straight away. Liata Hu. For 12. Yeah, sharp catch from Maddie Green at first slip. Just going at head. Chamari Atapattu. And she departs. Golden duck for the Sri Lankan captain. Mistimes it. Straight to a deep fine leg. Hanaro. She made no mistake. There. That's down to the fine leg boundary. 
He lacks it. It was uh, going very quickly. Tra traveling quickly and that's a full toss and that has been swept straight towards uh, Maddie Green once again. That was a rank full toss. He did too well. That's the advantage of having your hands pretty high. It's a reverse cup. If it, it's the second step. It's another chance and gone. And Sri Lankans are losing wicket at regular intervals. Now this is exactly another what short you delivery. You can see the um, they are not afraid to bang it in short. Yeah, you predicted Perfect this. Um, bouncer. Good height. And she was beaten for speed. Nicely played into the gap. Ball will win the race. The ball is a lot drier. There you are. I cannot fathom out. 50 for 4. And you don't have a slip. Another outside edge. This will run away for 4. We have not seen uh, consistent performances, so uh, she needs to make this opportunity count. And this is Kavisha Dilhari, battles it. Kavisha Dilhari once again uses the uh, battle sweep, and uh, it will be a sec. Another short delivery from Hanaro. Anushka Sanjeevani. Loud appeal and given. So the good uh, breakthrough, good change of uh, ends for Hannah Rowe. She's in disbelief. Uh, it's a poor delivery, a full toss. Delta. You think? You'd want to attack a little bit more. There you are. Rank full to waste high full toss. And no should the Ransinger hits it back at the bowler. It was a comfortable catch for Amelia. Hits it straight back to the bowler. Again another wrong one. That's Kerr's first wicket of this series already got a 108 for 6. Kavisha Dilhari, 32 of 45. Top run scorer. She gets a thick outside edge once again. Seen that happen a couple of times already. Eden Kaas started to take most of the strike. Nicely timed. That'll run away for 4. Me. That's uh, pulled away to the fence. As well timed and well played. Pulled him. Fourth wicket for her. She's done well. Promising partnership comes to an end. Kavya Kavindi castled for 15. For Lea Tahuhu. Through the gate and uh, Destroys uh, the stumps there. Ah, oh. that's delicately played. That's delicately played. Intentional. That's up in the air. And the breakthrough comes through Sophie Divine. Short ball working once again for the White Ferns. That's been their strategy in this game. Sugantika Kumari just couldn't help herself. Zudan Hoard takes a simple catch, the gloves in hand. Sri Lanka losing the 8th wicket, uh, the total of 178. Enjoy the performance as a player for this game for Sri Lanka. Okay. Ha! Sipatana versus uh, St. Joseph's. Laksis is waiting. Oh! Kavisha Dilari. That's the last way she would have wanted to get dismissed. 
Eden Carson, almost uh, a harmless delivery. Take a look at this. Ah, that's a good take down leg side. The only one, I think, who didn't get a run today, Susie Bates, who usually does roll her arm over. And that's the last wicket. A chip by Udeshika, sorry, Ino Karanavira, straight to the fielder. That's a good take by Eden Carson just to end the innings. Sri Lanka 218 all out. Yeah, comprehensive victory for the White Ferns. After putting up a brilliant display with the bat in hand. High fives all around. They taste the first victory in this tour, the White Ferns, and uh, more importantly, series will be alive coming on Monday, the last one. Forty-three extras. Did yeah, that will be something that uh, New Zealand coaches will be, the Brain Trust will be uh, discussing with the team when they have, have it. On top of the 25 runs she scored. Hannah was pretty good with the new ball. So was Sophie. Both picked up a wicket each. So match summary. New Zealand winning their toss, batting first. Thanks to a magnificent partnership between Sophie and Amelia. Both getting 137 and 108 respectively. Got to 329 for 7. Next uh, up we will have uh, the captain and also the player of the match, Sophie Define, for his for her brilliant 137.